Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. Today's Monday, November 19, 2018. We're just three days away from Thanksgiving. Can you guys believe it? It's incredible. I don't know where this year went, this month, this anything, but the holidays are upon us. So I want to go over a story that I read uh, just yesterday slash Saturday. Um, it's from a couple different sites and, and stories and links that I went to. It's about the Amazon economic impact uh, on the cities of Arlington, Northern Virginia, D.C., and on Long Island, New York. Now, a lot of us understand that we're resellers, we support eBay, we support Amazon. It's because of us, over 50% of all sales on Amazon were through uh, third-party sellers. I think it was like 52%. So more than half of their sales are generated by people like us. And what does that mean exactly? Well, we've caused Amazon to grow into the company that it is that's able to just drop new headquarters into two cities and all of a sudden overnight hire 50,000 new people. Well, not only does that give 50,000 people a job at $100,000, $150,000 a year, that's the average salary they're paying for new employees, uh, it also helps the economic uh, regions that they're dropping into. It helps those regions with their economics from everything uh, like real estate and rent. Um, the housing market is just going to go bananas in those markets. Public transportation, Uber and Lyft drivers are going to have new clients. Mom and pop cafes and pizza shops are going to have new people to get lunch. Uh, food trucks are going to have new customers. It's just going to go insane in these areas. And so that's the effect that one thing like Amazon can have dropping into these cities. And it's because of us that they've been able to grow and do that. So whenever you look back at what you do, you know, we support our families. We put food on our table. We pay our bills with what we buy and sell. But in the grand scheme of things, all of us combined, put together, have allowed Amazon and other, you know, Macari, Poshmark, eBay, even to grow into entities that can thus provide for other people as well and potentially give one of you or your family members or friends a job, a career at this company as an engineer, a tech, a web designer, a shipping person, whatever it might be. It's incredible the circle of economics and the circle of business that happens through simple things as us buying and selling on these websites. So I want to show you a couple little stories on those and the and the impact that they're having. It's it's mind blowing what they're doing in these cities and what it's going to uh, you know cause to happen for the current residents, future residents, the the housing market and everything. So let's check it out. Let's go over those websites and uh, see what it says. Okay, so CNBC's Market Watch has a story about Amazon's you know new, two new headquarters being in um, New York City, Long Island, and of course Northern Virginia, DC. Uh, Fifty thousand jobs, paying an average of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a job. Now that sounds like a lot of money for a lot of people, and it is. Don't get me wrong, one hundred fifty thousand dollars is a dream job for most people. But in those cities, it's very very expensive to live. New York City, of course, one of the most expensive cities in the world. Long Island, not far from there, and then uh, Northern Virginia, DC. See, that's where our lawmakers live, our politicians, a lot of huge corporations, companies. It's a big hub. It's a growing city. It's very expensive. I'm from about a half an hour north of D.C. Uh, it's been a long time since I lived there, but it wasn't cheap then, and it's certainly not cheap now. Uh, Jeff Bezos, you know, strategically placed these locations, and he needed the East Coast coverage, so he got it. Um, so this story from CNBC is about, you know, the jobs. Uh, how hard is it going to be to fill? That it takes a month to get an application done. Um, could you possibly get a job? What will they be hiring for? Uh, they talked to Brian, who is a recruiter for Amazon for six years, talking about how competitive it is. Um, you know, the, the 14 leadership principles. You can check all this out. I'll link this story. It shows where the Arlington um, building is going to be near the Potomac River. Uh, and it goes down and talks about all this. But the other side that he doesn't talk about here that they do talk about over on Market Watch on this side is what is it going to do? What is this Amazon headquarter location in both these cities going to do for the housing prices and the economic situation in these cities? And it's just one thing that it shows what we as resellers support a company like this, buying, selling, being in business with, and how big they've grown, what they have done to cities and you know around the country, Seattle, uh, D.C. now, New York, and probably other cities. Just when a, a warehouse opened here in Florida, a new one opened not that, that far away, they hired 5,000 new people. Everybody around here was out getting jobs. It was on the news showing a line around the building of people going to apply for a job at Amazon. Um, so when you go down to where they ended up picking, uh, over the past five years, home prices at Amazon's current home 
which is Seattle, where their headquarters is, jumped by 73% and rents by 31%. That means that the Airbnb market shot through the roof. People that own homes shot through the roof. Uh, all the small businesses where all these new employees, think about the food trucks that are going to be around um, Amazon's headquarters, a business opportunity. Think about the mom and pop you know, lunch cafes. Think about the, air, the Ubers and the Lyfts that are going to have to take people to and from work and all these new people that are going to go out to the nightlife after their shifts are over on the weekends. They're going to go to bars. They're going to spend money at retail stores. Think about everything that dropping 50000 or 25000 in this case to each city could happen have by just putting those people into the city overnight i mean literally overnight we look they show the median home values for you know like seattle seven hundred thirty nine thousand dollars up 72 percent in five years the median rent is 2400 and it's up 31 percent look at arlington this is the first city 664 to live in arlington five-year change is 15 percent the median rent 27 and the five-year change in rent is only 2%. But these are all going to go up. In New York City, uh, Long Island area, 674000 a 42% increase, 2200 for rent, and 13% up. So, you know, other companies are going to come there. Realtor.com is, you know, reporting these numbers. It's huge. Uh, renters are going to face the most difficulty in keeping their housing affordable. Remember, tenants are at the mercy of landlords. Landlords could choose to jack your rent up simply because they know there are other people that will pay it. It's kind of a downside of things, but it's true. And you know, if you have a 12-month lease and you just signed it in say, you know, August, by this time August next year, these people are going to be flowing into the city and you're going to be up shit's creek without a paddle. Um, tenants are really, you know, landlords will do whatever it is to make the money and that's pretty much it. Um, now is the time to buy. If you haven't already bought, you need to have a house and just start banging the equity out. If a house is seems a little high to you at 225 and you're trying to get it for 200, buy it at 225 cuz in a year it's going to be worth 325 or 425. Of course, prices in those cities don't exist at 225 like prices in my neighborhood do, I wish. But I'm telling you right now, if I was there and I was shopping around and my budget was $400,000 and I saw a house that I really loved that looked really good and it was 425, 450. I'd swing the extra couple hundred bucks a month because listen, the housing market's going to like skyrocket in those two cities, guaranteed, at least for the next few months or next few years, excuse me. They're already going up all over the country. My house is up a huge amount. Just in the last two years, my house is up like $30,000. It's crazy. So homeowners will be the biggest winners. Renters and homeowners should get political, which I don't really get into all that, but it's a really interesting story to read. It's really interesting to think about what we as resellers have built through Amazon and what we've allowed cities like this to have happen to them. So I'm interested in your um, your thoughts on this, your comments. Please leave them down below. Um, please let me know how you feel about Amazon moving to these two cities. Do you plan on applying for a job, whether you live there or you're out of town? Amazon offers up to $10,000 moving fees. That's to pack all your stuff up, move you, uh, fly you in, you know, because plane tickets can cost $500, $1,000. You got to move your house. You got to move your stuff. You got to get a moving truck, move your dog, um, move into a new house. Maybe you need to rent a place for a month or two before you're allowed to move in. So 10 grand can go pretty quick, but they're willing to pay that. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, let me know anyways, whether you are interested in this or going to get a job and anybody who does apply for a job at the new headquarters, let me know how it goes, what the process was like. Maybe we'll do an interview on one of my videos and we'll have you on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Enjoy your day. Thank you again. As always, we're getting close to Thanksgiving, so I will have a few more videos before then, and I look forward to seeing you guys there. Thanks so much.